Well, this is an impressive story. You may remember Jim Macker. In fact, he is hard to forget. That's because come this Sunday, he will have a run in 46. That's all 46 Cleveland marathons. And he's proof that age doesn't mean a thing. And when you're following your dreams, it becomes even more of a thing. Lindsey Buckingham had a chance to try and catch up with him. Ready, set, <laughs> here he goes. In fact, he puts the Energizer Bunny to shame because Jim Mackert's been going and going and going since the very first Cleveland Marathon back in 1978. Look at my family here, it's fantastic. I first met him in 2019 on one of his training runs. Keep up with you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't keep up with him then, and today, at 86 years old, he's still leaving me in the dust. Well, you need to ease up on me right now. You're too fast for me, Jim. <laughs> Come Sunday, Jim will have run in all 46 Cleveland marathons, though this year, he'll be walking and running in the half. Until last week, I was still planning and trying to do the marathon, uh, but the family has been telling me that I should go to the half marathon. And it's not easy for someone like Jim. I don't want to keep him out here all day. <laughs> to start slowing down. Somehow I'm going to get through it. Now, it may take longer, you know, but time doesn't matter anymore. But this father of six and loving grandpa. They time me with a calendar now. <laughs> <laughs> has never lost his sense of humor and why this three-time Boston marathoner is regularly honored for his running. But don't overlook his efforts off the course. Here he comes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jim's been volunteering for the marathon for decades, inspiring every single person he meets. And if you ask him... Don't let people tell you you can't reach a realistic goal. Uh, if you have heard how many people told me that I couldn't do what I'm doing, I still feel like I want to run another 70 years. Do you think you'll ever stop? I prefer not to. Looks like I have a lot of work to do to keep up. I'm always chasing you, so I feel like I need to pull you back a little bit. Just hold my arm. <laughs> All right, let's do that. <laughs> And as you heard in the piece there, Jim will run the half marathon this Sunday. This is where he's been volunteering all day at the Health and Fitness Expo. And I have to tell you, Matt and Betsy, I'm not joking you, it is very hard to keep up with him, even at 86 years old. <laughs> that is so impressive, man. That is great. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, how cool. And so is he He's so does impressive. He, does he have any plans to do a marathon? That's a really good question. Well, it, like I asked him in the story, I said, hey, do you think you'll ever stop? He says, listen, I prefer not to. This may or may not be his last half marathon, but he tells me he's going to proceed next year as if he's running again, and I completely believe him. I'm not joking when I say he's truly the Energizer, energizer Bunning. He just keeps going and going and going. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be the same without him. I mean, he right. competed in every single one, so yeah. cool. Lindsey Buckingham, live from downtown Cleveland, the convention center. Folks are picking up their packets right now, getting ready yes, for that marathon. Thanks so much, Lindsey.